river with reflective water. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, this I'm is great. I'm losing my mind. All right. A new feature in the Photoshop beta, little generative fill. In the Photoshop training channel, like way back when, I very meticulously use the clone stamp tool, copy these pixels, and then come in here, and you know, and then I stole a little bit from here, just kept doing that for like an hour until that, you know, car was gone. But now, and you can time me, Paul, just to see how long it takes. Lasso tool and make a loose selection. I don't have to be gonna... precise. Generative fill, generate. So now that we have a clean plate, simply select the layer mask and just fill it with black. We have a completely black mask. And now I'm gonna go to the original image, click on select subject to select her. I'll click on this icon to invert the selection, go back into my generative fill layer and with the brush tool, paint with white and look at this. How long did that take? One minute, 30 seconds. Wait, Unacceptable, way too, too, long. <laughs> too slow, too slow. Isn't that insane uh, that you can do something like this so fast? Jesus would have to go out there and yell at everyone, hey, I'm trying to take a photo. I extended the background and then we can do the same to remove people from the photo. There we go, people are gone. And another super cool thing is if you make a selection just around the bottom of anything really, and you type something like reflective waves, it hopefully will create this amazing, beautiful lake in front of the pyramid with the reflections. Look at that reflection pop. Okay, it'll do a bridge. Well, we'll see. All right, the bridge is not bad. Should I just put like warrior? Or uh, I'll do Aztec warrior. Yeah. Let's add your dragon. You wanna add a dragon like <laughs> on top of here? Yeah, but can you select more of the area? Is this what you have in mind? Yeah, just make sure you get some of the gigantic dragon with wings. Like, okay, that so one's here, all right. That's not bad, that's not bad. Okay, that one's Ooh, all right too. That, that one's, one's all right better. too. That yeah. one's pretty good. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try adding another pyramid. I'm just gonna type in pyramid. I wanna see if it does like an Aztec pyramid or like an Egyptian oh, pyramid. Oh, interesting. So not bad. It, I mean, these are definitely not Egyptian pyramids. So we've been looking at just adding things to a photo or removing things to a photo, but you can actually create composites from scratch, which I think is, is super cool. Like for example, I can make a selection here on the bottom and decide where my horizon line is gonna be. So like, that'll be that line there generate fill and I can just type in grassy field with dirt patches. I'm gonna try a Almost. distant. Wow. That's what that I'm talking a, about. Yeah, that made That's huge exactly what difference. I'm talking about. See distant, it just creates that depth. Yeah. Then I can select the top part and say something like overcast cloudy sky with distant mountains. I'm just trying to generate a background from scratch rather than, you know, just removing something and then that be my background. I can just create it completely from scratch. I can create a whole mm -hmm. composite essentially using the yeah. generative fill. Ooh, let's see which guy do you like better. I'm gonna type in broken down red barn. Wow, Ooh. actually did a really good job. What I can do now is maybe on this side here, Reflective water. You know what? It didn't do that good of a job as I was expecting, so maybe I'll change the prompt. I'm gonna do, oh, yeah. gonna do what you said. River with reflective water. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, this I'm is great. I'm losing my mind. All right, right here. Look at that. Look at that grass. I'm Look at that dirt. The barn. This is the original image. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Grass, huh? the sky, the barn, <coughs> that little river thing. Really, really little. crazy. Why don't we put like a jet here? Oh, oh wow, yeah, this guy just, just showed up to his barn. A... Oh my God. So it is in Photoshop beta. So anybody has access to it, just go to your Creative Cloud desktop app and in beta apps. Thanks everybody. Thank you.